So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Fridays and these Dax Fridays is a little bit different. I am going to give you a challenge. So I'm going to give you two problems, mathematical problems that I'm going to ask you to solve using Dax. This is going, what's going to happen. I will explain the two problems. You let me know in the comment box your solution to say one, problem two mm? and then I will pick a with a program a random comment and whoever gets speak and has the right solution obviously will get this if you want it you just then contact me and let me know your um, mailbox and I will send you this okay so what is the challenge about here's the thing let's jump into power bi and I'll show you so we're going to solve two mathematical problems. The first one is as follows. It says Mary and Martin both started to watch Das Friday's videos on YouTube. They both stopped when they have watched the same number of videos. Okay, so Martin started watching some videos. Mary started watching some videos and they both stopped when they have watched the same number of videos. Now, here's the thing. Mary watched five Dax Fridays videos a day, while Martin watched 11 Dax Fridays videos a day. Can you imagine? 11. Okay, so here's the thing. How many days did it took Mary to watch the same number of videos as Martin? The exact same number of videos. Okay, so you can use this you can use it with Excel also, doesn't matter if these functions exist in Excel too, but you can do it in Excel or in DAX. I don't want the math, I just want the number. So don't put the solution on the comment box, just put the number, the number of days, that's it. Don't tell how you solved it. The next question, the next challenge, it is as follows. Chris is running an internal Power BI training at his company and 75 women and 105 men applied for the training. Now, Chris knows that diversity has a positive impact on learning, so he wants to make sure that he divides the teams first into equal sizes, but also that he has the same size of men and women on each team. Okay, so the question here is how many boys will it be in each team to get the same number? How many boys will you have on each team to get the same number? Okay, so grab your calculator and start solving these issues. And let me know in the comment box what you think the results are. Just say one and then the number, two, and then the number. And then on the next DAX Fridays, I will show you how to solve this using DAX. Okay, looking forward to your results and uh, have a great weekend. I will see you again on the next Friday and then we will unveil the results and give, uh, no, we won't give this baby away <laughs> because it's going to be recorded probably, but I will do a video afterwards too give this baby away okay so take care have a great weekend and i'll see you again on monday bye